Hi, welcome to Market Alert for Friday, the 24th of March 2017. A lot to get through today, so uh, let's get started. This is yesterday's live uh, trading activity. It's going to fast forward, and there you can see a buy signal being hit. And then I'll readjust everything on the screen for you as uh, we traded yesterday. There we go, just pull that back a bit. So the market was fairly sideways at uh, one moment I thought uh, if the market broke the uh, 20,650 which is obviously this area here we were going to see prices move lower but fortunately uh, they continued to move higher and then you'll see the market take out the entry point again and prices start to move higher. So the market went through the scalp and just redraw all of the lines and then I decided because uh, after the market had spent so much time in this sideways move there was a likelihood it would go up to here so uh, again you'll see the adjustment take place in a moment. I'm going to remove the stop loss and then move the there you go so the stop loss is gone move the stop to break even and let's see how the market goes on and eventually you can see uh, I'll put everything back again in a second there you go there you can see uh, the market moving higher I've got the 50% now trailing above the rising lows and the market puts in a sell signal which is not it and then the market continues high. I've got rid of the scalp now because I'm trailing the stop as well, which you can see here. This is where the trailing stop is now. It's under all of these rising lows as the market's moving higher. And we just keep planting it underneath as prices continue to move to the upside. So now we're through this uh, resistance area here, the uh, 20,000. Uh, 700 will be this level then the next is 20,750 uh, so again let's see what the market does it takes a moment or two but we head up to this area you can see I've just moved the stop I'll just come back moving the stop moved again 50% below and then the market gets into a sideways range you can see we're sitting at 60 odd points the stop is kept in the original place I wanted to give it a bit of room to actually breathe and then eventually we move through the 27 sorry 20,750 level and what I'm doing here I'm just coming back I wanted to see what uh, news we got uh, just to uh, clarify that we got these two speaking but uh, uh, which I'd uh, not forgotten about but I just wanted to check because I saw obviously the uh, line on the chart there we've got the news to come out here and that was going to be Kaplan speaking so then the market uh, drifted sideways and then what I did was zoom in to see if the market was going to come back to the stop which had been trailed up once more and then you'll see the market uh, take this out and then that's it that's me done trade complete and that was me for the day as I sent out in the note as well so a nice easy trade the only issue really was um, this sort of sideways uh, issue that we had let me just uh, grab this it was just there where the market went sideways for a while before then attempting to move back up to here and then that was it uh, game over so that was uh, an interesting day, nice trade, nice few points there and purely and simply because we got this area here where I thought the market would go through and it did and then managed to go up to the next one. I could have come out in uh, this area here as well but uh, didn't bother at the time. Uh, it was a case of just trailing the stop just in case it moved higher. Now the reason the market uh, came down, I said in the note that I, that, uh, uh, after this trade that the market was likely to continue higher but one thing I forgot was going on yesterday was uh, this that uh, stinging defeat for Trump house delays health care vote on doubts it can pass and things have gone from bad to worse and if we look at the latest news it says Trump issues an ultimatum uh, 
where he's uh, to the Republicans vote on Friday or Obama, Obamacare stays so uh, there's trouble at mill as I've said before and I will say it again and continue to say it the Republicans don't like Trump the Democrats hate Trump and this is what's going to continue going forward now we've got the debt ceiling in June as well so anything they can do to make his life miserable they are going to do so it's going to be interesting to see how this pans out today and whether the Obamacare care stays or it actually uh, goes so again just keep this one in mind uh, for today right let's have a look at the bigger picture <coughs> let's uh, move to the daily chart oh, this is the full picture for yesterday you can see how the market traded sideways uh, there anybody that uh, did trade through the evening part of the session we had a buy signal there which then was met by a sell signal which was also uh, stopped out as well I'm just removing some of these lines so you can see so there we've got a situation of uh, 15 point loss and then you have the sell signal which uh, came in there and you can see the market just went up and touched that for 22 points before the market put in a sell signal and then continued lower down to uh, the uh, support back down to this level for a move of 44 points to recoup the losses off these two losing trades there so again you can see how the market traded back down to uh, the 20,650 level right bigger picture let's just get rid of these uh, we've got the market uh, sideways again of uh, quite a high volume again for yesterday you can see that here uh, market coming off the highs yesterday as well and I drew in this um, level here because I wanted to uh, have a look and see if the market was going to find this as resistance which uh, it did and you can see the market's also finding resistance at this level at the moment you can see the closing price is still below the 20,712 as well so keep an eye on this uh, number as well you can see over here this is where the market found support before and where the market finds support it will then become resistance as well as the market tries to move back news wise today let's have a look see what we've got at uh, 2 p.m. nothing absolutely nothing today so it's all going to be waiting for uh, this uh, Obamacare vote so I would imagine it's going to be fairly sideways would be my guess there on um, the implied volatility front uh, let me just make an adjustment here with the screen recorder so you can see it I'll just zoom in as well um, here we've got uh, an increase on the previous day of uh, 10.11 to 10.38 and that's because there was uncertainty in the market yesterday towards the end of the session and again the options traders pricing in uh, a possible uh, Obamacare uh, remaining vote as it were so like I say interesting uh, day ahead for the markets and I think that is it for today I can't think of anything else um, let's just have a look at the end of day chart see if there's anything in there let me just move this slightly yeah we looked at this yesterday for uh, this bar here to see what the volume is like and it's uh, very low in real volume trading terms so uh, there was no selling the day before which we were su surprised to see and then we've had uh, no sort of buyback either in uh, Thursday's bar so sorry in Wednesday's bar uh, we don't see much buying back and then Thursday of course we came off the uh, the highs as uh, the Obama care vote uh, failed to go ahead as uh, Trump couldn't get uh, anybody to vote uh, on that one which is why he's given the ultimatum for today right that's it I will see you in uh, tomorrow's as ever thanks for watching see you in the next one